You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, gentleman poet and storyteller. The show is The More the Merrier. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. This story was handed down to my grandmother after the depression. Her neighbor stood at her front door with his head down and a worn suitcase in each hand. A boy with brown eyes and dark hair stood to his right and a fair-haired girl stood to his left. The neighbor said, I just went through a very bad divorce. I lost my job and I seriously don't know what to do. He paused and cleared his throat before forging ahead. I was wondering if you would take Brian and Amy. I don't want them to end up in foster care again. And I couldn't help noticing your kids seem real happy. In the silence that followed, her neighbor stared down at the ground. The children's big sad eyes were glued on grandmothers. This wasn't the only man who had lost his job. Well, I sure don't see why not, grandmother replied after grandmother got everyone in bed that night. She laid awake, listening to the winter wind blow across her farm. She thought about the bear that came twice a year and about the double rainbows she often saw stretched across the farm after a rain and how much she loved the place. Then her thoughts turned to this unsettling day. Her mind raced with questions she couldn't answer. Whatever could be said about her neighbor, he had made a wise choice in asking grandmother to take care of his kids. Grandmother was faced with many adjustments, sharing rooms, beds, clothes, and parents. They made the best of it. Everyone was made to feel welcome they had dinner. It was simple. It was about belonging. It was love. They had the comfort of a wood stove. All the children fell asleep. And it was about love. Well, Friends, I'll have to let you go right now because Cora Mae and Bubba need their chow. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next week, friends, this is John Willard. 
from the farm.